Rest in peace, DJ K. Slay, man. K. Slay, Absolutely. Man. Slay, yeah. Fucking Harlem that, legend, yep. hip hop legend. Absolute. Fuck. Yeah, I it's mean, a lot like of people him. don't know that, uh, you know, he's the, like how deep his connection with hip hop was. How far Ooh. back you mean, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, it started off at Style Wars. He was one of the artists highlighted. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, his name was Desi Des back then. That's right. Dez. Or Dazzy Des. Something like, like 83 or 84 yeah. or something, right? And then he eventually flips over to K-Slay and becomes a DJ like a lot of people do. You know, you either transition from the B-Boy shit to the turntables or mic, or you don't. Maybe you stay in there. Same thing with the graph. Yeah. You might transition from that to something or add on like right. still be doing the graph but like doing the music now or some shit and so that's what k did he got into the music yeah he, did. he used to sell mixtapes in new york on the corners in the 90s he was hustling tapes just like yep. everybody else he, he made some dope ass mix he sure as fuck yeah. did man and, some yeah. of the best and before he passed he was working on one you know he asked me to get on it oh. and i got on it and we we shot a little video for it and all that stuff and then he you know he got sick and that put that project on pause and um, you know, I don't know if y'all are ever gonna hear it or not, but it was it was cool to get invited by my man, right. who was such a fixture in hip hop and well respected. Word. And uh, you know, he deserves all his flowers, and yeah, <clears throat> you know, we say prayers and and uh, you know, positive vibes to his family right now. Salute. Yeah. Anybody who grew up in that era in New York City listening to him on the radio was, uh, what was the drama, drama Hour. Yeah, the, yeah. Probably the Drama least, King was his name. The Drama King, exactly. So he had the Drama Hour for at least 20 years he's had that shit. Maybe even longer, but he's, great. he's a fucking, yeah, Harlem <clears throat> legend, man. Yeah, and yeah. Not, Shout out. not only that, he had, like, the most legendary artists come through in freestyle and, like, getting the getting the, the Slay Report, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. on, on your bars live, uh, that was crucial. I know um, post-humorous, though, like, if anybody's going to, carry that man's legacy it's whack 100 because that was like his really good friend and you know he, if if he does release music i'd look forward to to seeing that coming out yeah yeah hopefully whack. somebody gets on that <clears throat> what you were working on and finishes it up you know oh well yeah. you know i'm i'm sure somebody might you know what i'm saying i just want to say that dude was like 1000 percent real like that i've ever you know, my encounters with him and just hearing him on when he would do his show because occasionally i would listen to his show and you that he had on shade, then on shade forty five, yeah, yeah, man. And he would tell motherfuckers one thousand when he thought they were flipping or if he thought they were relaxing. Yeah, exactly. He wasn't afraid to tell yeah. a motherfucker. It was the red pen treatment. You, he was correcting and and giving you the full like right a there. coach, yeah, like a coach, like telling you, okay, these are your strong suits. This is where you fucking killed it. And this here's where you work. not so much killed it. Yeah, but not good. like that. Like, yo, son, you was relaxing right here. I could tell. That's New yeah. York you know, for like, you. Give, him, give it to him straight, man. Let him yeah. know what they got to do. Don't he was a real one, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, All positive yeah. energy and love to his family. His mom, I know, was yeah. pillar in his life. So, yeah. He was fighting that for a little while, man, right? Yeah, he was for four months. For, wow, it's a long battle. So the only thing that I hope is that he had some time in there to talk to people about the shit that he had sitting and saying, hey, I got some projects, you know. I want them... I hope. Well, those of us that, that were working on that project with them, I mean, we'll all talk like right. just much like I did right now. Right, right. I, yeah. All of us that were a part of that, they got invited on, yeah. They want you'll, to see that come to fruition. You'll hear more stories about like, oh, man, we was just about to be on K Slay's mixtape when all this shit happened, you know what I mean? So you'll hear those stories, and I would eventually expect that um, one of his boys, like Whack 100 or somebody, is gonna come and be like, "Yo, we need to put this shit together in his honor." And Word, that was something that. he was working. And on. And all of us would, you know, obviously be down because I mean, yeah. fuck, he's yep. a triple OG in the game. Yeah, Whack 100 was actually the first one to kind of comment on his whole condition, right? I'm telling you, day to day, like for years, not just four months, for years, has K Slay and Whack been, you know, brothers, like not just friends. And um, yeah, they were tight. They're super sure. tight. I mean, a lot, a lot of people knew that. That's yeah. Kind of cool. So I know he's going through it so, too. I'm sending so, my prayers to Wack. So, you know, yeah, him. yeah. You know, strength to bro, because I know that that was one of his homies. So, you yeah, know, man. <clears throat> positivity to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100. Salute to but, K Slay. Yeah. But if anybody's going to fucking put that shit together, yeah, it probably should be him. Yeah. And Wack, 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 again, like, villainized by the internet, mostly for, like, the entertainment value. You know, he has his new podcast. He's now taking it professional. But when it comes to being a real nigga, like, taking care of people's families and stuff, quietly. Nobody would know. That's the way it should be done. But 
the the man is not the bad person that most of the internet breaks him out to be. All right. So right. Pr- prayers to him though. Word. Word.